Now let's consider our next sample. So this is for okay, curve fitting for a second order uh, polynomial. So what is our standard equation for a second order polynomial? We have f of x is equal to a, uh, a sub 0 plus a sub 1 of x plus a sub 2 x squared. So we have the unknowns, a sub 0, a sub 1, a sub 2, so which means we need 3 uh, equations. So the first one will be the summation of y equal to n, the number of entries, uh, that is multiplied by a sub 0 plus a sub 1 multiplied by the summation of x plus a sub 2 the summation of x squared. Then next is all we have to do is multiply all terms by x, but we ignore this time that we have to ignore this time the uh, n. So this is summation of x plus summation of y, this is the summation of x y equal to a sub 0 the summation of x plus a sub 1 summation of x squared plus a sub 2 the summation of x cubed. Okay, multiplying all terms by the summation of uh, x. This is the second one. Then we again multiply the second uh, equation by the summation of x. This will be the same as summation of x squared y equal to a sub 0 summation of x plus summation of x is summation of x squared plus a sub 1 summation of x cubed plus a sub 2 the summation of x raised to a uh, 4. So these are the three equations. So therefore we need the following. So we need the values of x by the value of y then the product of x and y and we also need x squared and we also need x cubed and the values of x raised to okay, 4 so this will uh, we need the values of those okay, variables so we have for x and this is 0 uh, 0 0.5 1 1.5 2 then okay, 2.5 0 0.5 1 1.5 2 n uh, 2.5 the corresponding values of y so this is a 0 0 0.25 okay, 1 2.25 this is a 4 then 6.25 then we also need the product of x and y so 0 times 0 this is a 0 what is 0.5 by 0.25 by 0.5 by 0.125. Oh, I think this is right. 0.5 times 0.25. So we have this is 0. Point, 0. 0.125. Uh, 1 times 1 this is 1. Then we have 1.5 of uh, 2.25. So this is uh, 3.3 uh, by 75. 2 times 4 this is uh, 8. Then we have 2.5 times 6.25 we have 15 oh, This is 15.625 Then we also need the x squared So this is uh, 0 What is 0.5 squared is 0 0.25 1 squared is 1 1.5 squared is 2.25 2 squared is the same as 4 Then 2.5 squared is 6.25 So those are the values of okay, uh, x squared Then we need the x cube So 0 cube is the same as 0 okay, What is 0.5 cube? 0.5 cube is 0 point, uh, 125. 1 cube is the same as 1 then 1.5 raised to 3 is 3. Point, oh, this is 3.375. Oh, then 2 cube, this is the same as uh, 8. Then we have 2.5 cube is the same as 15.625. Oh, then we have what about x to the fourth? X to the fourth? This is uh, 0 raised to 4 is uh, 0 What is 0.5 raised to 4? This is 0 0.0625 1 to the 4th is 1 1.5 raised to 4 
is uh, 5.0625 then 2 raised to 4 this is 16 and then we have plus 2.5 raised to 4 is uh, 2.5 raised to 4 is uh, 39.0625 so other than this value we also need this value the x squared uh, y so let's have that as the last column this is x squared y so we have to we have now x squared multiplied by uh, y. So this is 0 times 0, but it's the same as uh, 0. We have 0.25 times 0.25. Oh, that's the same as 0 0.06, 25. 1 times 1 is 1. Or we have 2.25 times 2.25. This is... 5.0625 As you can see, we are just It is the same as we are copying the value of x raised to 4 Then we have uh, This is 4 times 4 is 16 Then uh, we try this one This is uh, 6.25 by 6.25 So 6.25 times 6.25 is 39.0625 Yes This is uh, 39.06 as you can see, we, we copied the equivalent of x raised to uh, 4. Then we, we need the corresponding summation per variable. Okay, so we have uh, 0.5 plus 1 plus 1.5 plus 2 plus 2.5. This is 7y. Okay, 7.5 for the summation of x. And we have 0.25 plus 1 plus 2.25 plus 4. This is 8 plus 6.25. This is 13.75. The next, we have 0.125 plus 1 plus 3.375 plus 8 plus 15.625. And this is 0.125 plus 1 plus 3.375 plus 8 plus 15.625. This is 28.125. For the summation of x squared, 0.25 plus 1 plus 2.25 plus 4 plus 6.25. But as you can see, the same summation of y, I think. You agree? Alright, so we have the same as 13.75. Then for the x cube, similar menu comparable with x cube. x cube is similar to xy. So, 0.125 plus 1 plus 3.375 plus 8 plus 15.625. So, that is the same as 28.125. X to the 4, 0.0625 plus 1 plus 5.0625 plus 16 plus 39.0625. So we have that as uh, 61.1875 As you can see, the values of x raised to 4 are similar, are similar to the values of x raised to y So we may conclude that this is the same as 61.1875 So we have now these uh, values We may now input these values in our equation So if you have to input those uh, these values Alright, so what was our first uh, equation? The first equation is the summation of y is equal to n a sub 0 plus um, a sub 1, the summation of x, plus a sub 2, the summation of x squared. What is the value of the summation of y? Summation of y, this is uh, 13.75 is equal to 6 times a sub 0 plus Summation of x, this is 7.5 times a sub 1 plus summation of x squared, and again, this is plus 13.75 of a sub 2. This is for the first equation. Okay, for our second equation, this is the summation of x, y equal to a sub 0, the summation of x plus a sub 1, the summation of x squared, plus a sub 2, the summation of x uh, cubed. So we have, what is the summation of x, y? 
We have that as 28.125 equal to summation of x is 7.5 a sub 0 plus okay, we have summation of x squared. This is 13.75 uh, of a sub 1. Then plus summation of x cube. What is the summation of x cube? We have 28.125. I a sub uh, 2. So this is our second equation. Alright, in your last equation, we have the summation of x squared y is equal to a sub 0, the summation of x squared plus a sub 1, the summation of x cubed plus a sub 1, the summation of x raised to, okay, raised to 4. But it's like we have the summation of x squared y. We have 61. 61.1875 uh, equal to okay, what is the summation of x squared? This is 13.75 of a sub 0. Summation of x cubed. Summation of x cubed is uh, 28.125 a sub 1 plus the summation of x raised to 4 is 61.1875 of a sub so this is our third equation. Uh, third equation. So let's have this uh, equation. We may convert this depth to matrix or we may analyze them since we have three equations. We can go with the three unknowns. Alright, so we have now our uh, three equations. So this is uh, first equation, second, then uh, third. So here in numerical solutions, for example, we are required to uh, solve the values of a sub 0, a sub 1, a sub 2 using the matrix. So we can convert this one into a matrix. So we have the elements. This is uh, 6, 7.5, uh, 13.75. For the second row, this is 7.5, 13.75. This is 28.125. Then for uh, the third row, this is uh, 13.75, 28.125, and uh, 61.18.75. So this is multiplied by our unknowns. We have a sub 0, a sub 1, and a sub 2. Should be equal to find the values on the right side of the equation. This is we have 13.75, this is 28.125, 61.1875. So to all for the values of a sub 0, a sub 1, and a sub 2, what we have to do is, I move this matrix on the other side, that will give us its inverse. Okay, the inverse of this matrix, 6, 7.5, 13.75 uh, 13.75 28.125 on the third row this is 13.75 uh, 28.125 uh, so this the inverse of this matrix multiplied by this uh, matrix we have 13.75 75, 28.125, 61 uh, right, so I'll be just using the calculator to compute for this uh, one. So we can uh, compute for the values of a sub 0, a sub 1, a sub 2 using this matrix. Or since we have three equations to announce, well, we have other uh, way. For example, we are using our algebra calculator and so on. So for now, I'll be just using uh, our calculator. So we have 6, uh, 7.5, 13.75. This is 6, uh, 7.5, 13.75, 13.75, 7.5, 13.75, 28.125, 28.125. 13.75 and we have 28.125 61.1875 then 
875. Right, so you have got the corresponding values of a sub 0. The value of a sub 0 is 0. a sub 1 is also 0. a sub 2 is equal to 1. So this will be our answer. So we have now the values of a sub 0, a sub 1, and a sub 2. As we have the value of a sub 0 is equal to 0, a sub 1 is also 0, and a sub 2 is equal to a 1. So what is our standard equation? That is, the f of x is equal to a sub 0, uh, times n plus uh, no, sorry. a sub zero a sub zero plus a sub one of x plus a sub two of x squared. So this is the same as zero plus zero times x plus this is the same as one times x squared. So we have made the function that will uh, fit this data or uh, for a second order polynomial that is the same as x. Great. So this will be our answer. So again, this is a perfect fit uh, example. So the data will uh, take the given uh, function exactly. As you can see, what is a uh, 0.5 squared? 0.5 squared is 0.25. 1 squared is 1. 1.5 squared is 2.25. 2 squared is 4. 2.5 squared is 6.25. So this function will fit this data itself. So this will be our uh, solution.